welcome back hi hello i hosted a video um on on wednesday i basically returned to youtube i took a two-week break and the very simple reason being one depressed two busy three move flat and there is going to be a moving vlog coming out soon and i started on lamotrigine now i was on 25 milligrams and today is the first day that i'm taking 50 and i want to talk a bit about that today like so to anyone who didn't see my last life update video i spoke to my consultant and my consultant is or has started me on lamotrigine and we are decreasing the quetiapine down to 150 at night i'm taking the lamotrigine up to 100 in the morning basically i stopped my morning quetiapine and i'm currently still on 200 milligrams a night of quetiapine that's going to come down in the next two weeks to 150 and then my lamotrigine dose is getting up to 100 so we're doing this over a period of six weeks which is what my consultant so I'm on two weeks of 25, two weeks of 50, and then I'm on 100 until I next speak to my consultant, which I believe is the 6th of, of August. This is the Lamarche team. Starting these now. Now this is what I spoke about on Twitter and I'm actually terrified of it. So last week I came out in a rash. I have only had my hamster for two weeks and this is important to the story. I'm allergic to hamsters and I'm allergic to sawdust. This is Nibbles. She's currently enjoying spinning in a ball. Nibbles. Nibble, nibble. It's Nibbles. But I also started Lamotrigine at the same time. And as most of you probably know, or you can find by simply typing in Lamotrigine to Google. The Lamotrigine rash is something. And I came on this huge rash. I panicked for my GP. My GP took me off Lamotrigine for a few days to see if antihistamines could help get rid of it. And that's how we def def determined whether it was the Lamotrigine or my allergy. It was the allergies. Um, so I got started back on Lamotrigine and things have been okay. I did say I'm scared about increasing the dose because from what I, when the dose gets angry, that's when the rash shows and I am already overly paranoid anyway, let alone when I'm looking out for something. I, I just constantly keep looking and I'm like, God, oh my God, oh my God. Like I've literally stopped panicking over it and I'm looking at the big picture with it. As most of you know, when you start any psychiatric medication, it takes six to eight weeks for it to actually start to do anything. So I'm not actually expecting any changes as of yet. I'm, wait I'm expecting that around week seven week eight i can tell now that it hasn't done anything yet i, I know that because i'm really depressed recently and i still am I like i'm actually i have been like struggling to actually do anything the fact that this is flat is about half unpacked i think that that shows where i'm at there's not really a lot to say about starting the matcha gene because this is week three for me but i am definitely anxious about it but i'm hoping like i said looking at the big picture that it will have the positive results that it has had on countless other people i asked on twitter and a lot of you guys said it's really great and it really helps and anyone who's followed my journey for a long time knows that i struggle with the quetiapine and the weight gain associated with i can safely say that stopping the morning dough has a hundred percent made me a lot less hungry like i'm not as bingy which is good um when i binge eat i binge eat and but overall my thoughts on the lamotrigine based on what i've read it is a very helpful medication and it's not got as many it's not sedating which i said this a lot a lot of my medications are very much so especially my night meds um i do have insomnia and i literally cannot sleep I, I i could stay awake for a few days and then i'd really crash and that's why i was doing earlier this year which is why i was in and out of hospital and yeah it just wasn't good it wasn't healthy so i can say that the fact that i do take medication at night that makes me really sleepy is 100 percent help with my mental health like i'm actually sleeping at night and i'm waking up in the morning which is and the lamotrigine as my consultant said it's going to make me feel more alert i and uh, i'm not entirely sure it has yet but i do definitely feel quite an edge but i think that's because i'm anxious about medication but yeah that's my experience so far i haven't had any really i've had an allergic reaction to my hamster but apart from that <laughs> life's good i don't really have that much to say about it i did like i said i did have the whole thing whereas i didn't know if it was the hamster i was reacting to all the medication so i switched my gp and found it it was the hamster thank you nibble love my little nibbles nibble nibble you like the fluffy carpet too it just floofs on it and then you put them on it'll walk and then it's out <laughs> 
He likes the fluffy carpet. We do menace in that wheel though. Just squeaky, 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 squeaky. But yeah, that's my um, experience so far. I will be doing another one of these when I am up on 100 milligrams to talk about that. That will be in a few weeks time. Um, the next few days are gonna be videos that I did plan on making when I got my two week break, but I never actually made. They are all mental health based because that's what I do. And there is gonna be a moving vlog at some point when I have the time to sit and go for my phone, all my SD cards, my computer, everything. Like, I've got so much footage, it's ridiculous. If you're new, subscribe, and if you have any questions or video requests or anything you want to know, or even just say hi, comment down below. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Turn on the notification bell. Ding dong! And to be told whenever I upload a video. And also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, head over to Patreon and make a pledge. Thank you to the people who are gonna be on screen after this and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.